But what are we doing right, right now? Right now we're doing our most intriguing Thank Seahawks, you. and we Appreciate are up that. to number 22. Like right now. Yesterday I helped more out. Today I'm not going <laughs> to. No. Today I'm just going to sit here with some dead so air. Making fun of us right now. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like more. Uh... Number 22. <laughs> She's staring at you I with wish you could, eyes, I wish too. people could see the look. I wish you eye. could see the withering look. I've seen that look. look. It's the look you gave Colin Paisley it's when withering. Buster only April fooled you. It's the same look. It's not quite that look. Same there's, there's a little bit of a smile behind her eyes. Uh, there was okay. nothing smiley about me that day. Number 25 on the most intriguing list. Usually we do this at 8 o'clock, but we talked to Kobe Bryant today at that time, so we had to bump it to 9. Number 25, Brock, was Drew Locke. Number 24, Chris Stoll, the long snapper. Number 23 was yesterday, right? Hold on. Now I'm already screwing this up. <sighs> Number t- <laughs> Today's Friday. So that'd be the fifth. So this has to be number 21, right? Yeah. Ah, Darn it. I missed one. I've already screwed it up. Number 21 is D. Eskridge. Yesterday, oh, it was Trey Brown and then Dariq Young. Today is D. Eskridge at number 21. I was looking for Trey Brown. Yeah, sorry about that. I forgot about you, Trey. You're short. I don't know what to tell you. D. Eskridge, you'd be uh, hard-pressed not to forget about him because he hasn't been on the field a whole lot. The thing is... He's really, really talented. He's incredibly fast, and he's unlike anybody else they have in that wide receiver room. He really, really, uh, he's a special player. He's a special athlete. He's got explosiveness that's unique. Uh, He's really strong for a smaller guy. He's not a big guy, but he's really, really strong um, and very explosive. And so we're... Um, we're really excited to just have him back out here practicing with us because if he stays with us and he can stay on the field and, and be out there, he's going to be a factor. He's unique on this team for sure, Brock. That speed and burst with the ball in his hands. Mm-hmm. They don't really have anybody who has that sort of Percy Harvin scat back quality to him that D does. Got a lot of Chris Michael. When I hear Pete talk about D, I hear a lot of Chris Michael. <laughs> If he can be available, if he can stay on the field, if he can be a pro, if he can make the right choices, because like Kristen Michael had some unique stuff. I mean, like off the chart spark numbers and and I'm going to ask my guy at the Seahawks if they do force plates like the like the Mariners do. Right. They measure the amount of force these guys create off the ground. And Munoz right near the top of that list. I bet you from that standpoint, he's. Ooh, I don't want to say more than DK because DK is kind of crazy like that too, but he's right up there. He's Percy Harvin light athletically. That's why they took him in the second round. That's why they've given him time, but that time is running. I think you make a good comp there with Kristen Michael because on, you know, I thought you were going to go with CJ pro another guy who obviously had injury after injury after injury. But the difference is when pro was out there, when Percy was out there, Mm -hmm. They were highlight real place. Yeah, they, they singular actually, highlight real place. They they got it done. The problem here is we haven't actually seen him do anything. Even when he's been out there, there hasn't been any production. There hasn't been any productivity. Mm-hmm. Now, DK Metcalf says that may very well change this year. From last year to now, I think he's a totally different player. Um, he, he's been explosive off the line of scrimmage, catching everything, um, knows where to line up. Um, I mean, he's teaching me stuff since I've, I haven't been here uh, for a couple weeks. So he's teaching me stuff about the offense, uh, little details about the routes that I didn't know before. So, uh, I mean, he's just locked in uh, more than ever. So it's more, for him, it's more than just being healthy now? Right. Oh, yeah. Uh, with D, is just getting him on the field. Uh, he's been special this whole camp, and, you know, we've seen how special he could be. Um, but injuries just have played him uh, throughout his career. So when, once he gets on the field and once he steps on the field, you're going to see how special he is. There's difference in injuries. There's difference in injuries. Teammates, certainly coaches, look at them differently. You get a traumatic injury, you tear your knee, you dislocate your shoulder, you have blunt trauma, you you have grace. You have continual soft tissue injuries, they start looking at your preparation and what you're doing in the early hours of. Are you sleeping? Are you hydrating? Are you doing everything? Or do we have continual problems here? When you asked Kobe Bryant last hour, I was waiting on this name. I was really curious to see when you said, hey, and you shared with him that story from the year before, or who's someone we're not talking about. I was real curious if he was going to point to DS. Yeah, me too. And if you play that Geno cut from yesterday where he was Russell Wilson, baby Russell, mentioning every name, did you notice he didn't 
this time yeah, around. I've been really not. I mean, D, you know, DK did, and Gino said something about him earlier. He's gonna do some things now. He's uh, he's he's getting ready. He's getting ready to do some things, and um, I know you know things have kind of started slow for him, but doesn't matter, man. He's he's a physical specimen. He's got everything it takes. He's studying his butt off. I mean, I've been with him every single day. We're watching extra film, um, and 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 he he looks to be you know really taking that next step. So they're you know it's not like they've yep. ignored the guy. I no. don't I don't want to start nope. putting words in their mouth, but. Nope. Uh, you got to earn it. You got to earn it. I would say two things. One, Maura, you and I have been sort of going back and forth about DK. There's a reason uh, uh, about D Eskridge, rather. There's a reason D is ahead of Dariq on this list. He's more intriguing. He has higher upside. That's why he was a second round pick, not a sixth or seventh. Right. I mean, like he's got that kind of upside potential and he's unique on this roster with his ability to run with the ball in his hands or take it on an end around or any of the number of things that he can do that other guys in this team aren't really as built for. Mm -hmm. So he is uniquely talented with a higher upside, certainly than a Derek Young. And I think it's interesting, Brock, when I asked you yesterday who you thought right now would end up as the fourth receiver, you said Derek Young. But I'd be willing to bet if you gave him truth serum and you asked the coaches, who do you want to win that job? Not who's be, going oh, to, be but who do you want? It's D. Eskridge because no of everything you can do with him. He was supposed to be. Debo Samuel was a second round pick. Now, Debo, much more physical, thick, you know, violent player. But he was supposed to be in that vein. That's, you know, same system, right? Shanahan system. Use the jet sweep. Use the ghost the motions. You use him in all of those ways. And if he's healthy. And that dude pops this year, Salk? Whoa. That'd be whoa, fun. Whoa, whoa. And I'm rooting for it to happen. Whoa. Until I see it, until we see it in games, until he actually does it, and mm -hmm. we see some productivity, yep. I'm going to put my money on Derek Young, at least for now. That is the most intriguing Seahawk today, number 21 on our list. And we go through that generally at 8 o'clock, but sometimes that's the Seahawks window to join us. So uh, when in doubt, we may uh, have to move it to 9. So follow along. You can always do it online as well at seattlesports.com.